All right, everybody. Happy New Year. This is Vaughn Edmead, uh, founder and owner of uh, Average is Failure. You know, the whole Coach Vaughn edutainment brand. Uh, I'm really excited about doing this video for you guys. This is not really a, a, a video that's going to have heavy content as far as learning, but this is just a video to update you on how we plan to help you progress um, in 2016. And so this is the first day of 2016. I'm excited. You know, uh, you know, we got the Averages Failure Apparel that's getting ready to launch. We got the Averages Failure um, Renewed website that's getting ready to launch. Um, and just so you know, one of the reasons, and this might actually end up being a lesson, one of the reasons why I haven't really been posting videos, I haven't really been posting posts on Instagram, I haven't really been posting much on Facebook, I haven't been doing those things because what I realized is that it's one thing to have content and to put out content. It's another thing to have a system around that content that gives you sustainability. I remember when Robert Kiyosaki um, talked about the, the fact that many different companies can make a burger, but not many companies have the system, or, or make, they can make a bur burger that's better than McDonald's burger, but they, not many companies have a system that allows them to sustain, to, to get their product and their content in front of um, their audience the way that McDonald's does, and, and to distribute and to be able to deliver the way that McDonald's does. So it's not just about the content that you have, it's not just about the product that you have, um, as you can see my book in the background, it's not just about having a book, but there's a difference between writing the book and actually um, selling the book and, and getting the book into the hands of the people that actually need it. So I've really been taking some time to really understand and figure that aspect of entrepreneurship and branding out. Um, and I think that's going to allow me to be more effective for you all and uh, to be more consistent for you all as we go into 2016. So that's one of my major goals for 2016 is to be consistent in delivering you all valuable content as we go forward, content that will help you. As a matter of fact, I hope that that, what I just said, I hope that helps somebody because I do have a lot of friends now who are working on becoming entrepreneurs or what have you, but they're only focused on the product not understanding that the system around the product is just as important because if it's if it's difficult for you to be consistent it's just going to end up making you frustrated it's going to make your followers uh frustrated um and then you know you, you might end up giving up a, a bit early so concentrate on your system also okay um so some of the things in 2016 that that we're going to discuss you know I, I plan to take things to another level in 2016 as far as my own life um, so, so some of the, a lot of the information you guys already know, usually when I'm giving you information, I'm also working on these same things myself in my own life. Um, um, you know, overcoming obstacles and challenges in my own life. So we're doing this thing together. So one, I really want to talk more this year in 2016 about some of the black issues that we see going on. Um, you know, I really, I, I haven't been as vocal about some of those things, but I really want to do uh, more of that. You know, but uh, this channel, by all means, is for people of all races, all colors, all creeds, or what have you. Um, but I, I am African American, and um, in our community, in the African American communities, we do somewhat struggle as far as having um, some faces uh, that people can identify as leaders, especially for young African Americans. So, I want to do my best to add to the pool that's of, of positivity. Uh, as far as the image of young um, African Americans and, 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 and war against those negative images that we've been seeing coming from media or what have you. Um, unfortunately, a lot of times from people of our own race. So, But once again, th th because I'm talking about black issues does not mean that this is just a black channel. This channel is for everybody. The information that I'll be giving will be for everybody to be able to um, digest. Um, I want to talk, you know, we're going to go more in depth about some relationship things I'm, and I'm going to be strategic. We're going to be doing these things in series. So it's not just going to be one video about this thing. The video, we might start off talking about relationships, but we might talk about relationships for you know, who, six weeks up to 13 weeks. And we'll just be going through different aspects of what relationships um, entail, the decisions that making that go, should be going into relationships. You know, what, what things are necessary, what things aren't as necessary, but what things you might want and it's a valid reason for you wanting, what might you need to say no to. Um, some of the other things I have written down over here, 
yeah, I want to talk a bit about finances um, in the black community. You know, I was I, I have some friends who they go to they might be black, but they go to schools. They might go to Jewish schools or Jew, schools in other communities. And, you know, within their school system, they actually talk about how to handle finances. That's something that we struggle with here in the black community is uh, is, um, you know, how we handle our finances. But not just black folks. Some white folks struggle with handling finances. Um, the government struggles with ha handling finances. Businesses struggle with handling finances. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's not bound by race. So once again, I want everybody who's watching this channel to be able to benefit. And by no means am I a financial guru. Um, a financial guru that you might want to look at, though, is Dr. Boyce Watkins. But um, I, what, what little I have been learning uh, and what little I have been implementing into my life um, I want to be able to share with you all just so that you can position yourself for the greatest success possible. Um, we'll talk, of course, you already know we're going to talk about education. We're going to talk about living with purpose. Um, we're going to talk heavily about entrepreneurship once again. Um, entrepreneurship, I think, is a big deal right now. And I think more people probably need to, you might not be a, a, a multimillionaire mogul, but even on a small level, you could look into becoming an entrepreneur. Um, and I also want to talk, I haven't really been going into this, but I want to talk about spirituality, you know, so, um, you know, you, what are some of the things that transcend, you know, our humanness? What are some of the things that, that you know, that, that, um, that are more powerful than just merely trying to will your way through things? You know, how can we, you know, what, what, what rituals can we put in place? Um, how can we, you know, what, 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 what do we look to when, Human power is not enough, man. I really want to talk about some of those things. But I, I'm just excited about this year, really. Um, you know, since lo a lot has happened for me in the last year. So, I, as a matter of fact, so that's what I'll do um, in this video is I'll talk about some of the things I've been thankful for that transpired in 2016 and how that impacts what's going to happen for me in 2016. But, you know, in 2015, I was blessed to graduate you know, well, at the end of, very end of 2014, so you can kind of say in the beginning of 2015 also, at the very end of 2014 I had my, I, is when I um, um, published my book, you know, and it's so amazing because sometimes you wonder whether or not you'll really see the results of the things that you've been putting in your life, but really and truly, the things that I talked about in my book, as I p implemented them in my own life, what I, saw, what I got to see in 2015 was myself go to the next level. Um, you know, I, I um, and it doesn't mean that I there are there are still areas of my life where I need to go to the next level, but in considerable areas where I had been failing before, you know, I had gotten kicked out of law school, ended up graduating with my master's um, in pastoral studies, um, graduated not just graduated but graduated with a three point eight GPA, um, you know, um, uh, what's oh I became a pastor um, this past year, you know. Um, you know, uh, there are just a number of things that God has been allowing me to do, um, and, and he's been elevating me, and I think that's going to allow me to be that much more powerful in 2016. I can speak to you guys not just from a place of theory now, but I can speak to you guys from a place of somewhat authority, seeing how these enacting these principles into my life have really begun to play out. Another thing that I want to do is I want to partner with some other people on my channel and open up my channel, my YouTube channel, to allow other people to even put their own shows on it um, where they talk about similar issues from their own perspectives so that way that you guys are getting content well-rounded content and, and 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 getting these ideas from other powerful minds and things that I might not be able to speak on as much so um, so yeah man here's wishing to you a, a blessed um, powerful and um, you know and, 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 and successful 2016 and man I'm just wishing and hoping and praying and believing for all of you that that um, God will do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that you could ever ask and all that you could ever think in this year, 2016. So shout out to all of you, man. Average is failure. Success is intentional. And character is legendary. Um, let's make this one, let's, let's make this year the best year that we have so far, y'all. We just going to build upon that year after year, all right? Peace out.